this question belongs to the topic of matrices and the subtopic is agent values the difficulty level of this question is easy approximate time required to solve this question is 15 seconds the number of distinct agent values of the matrix is a scalar lambda is called an agent value of the n by n square matrix a if there is a non trivial or non zero solution of x such that a into x is equal to lambda into x such an x is called an agent vector corresponding to the agent value lambda so agent value is nothing but a, a scalar value such that ax is equal to lambda x if you just rearrange the terms you are going to get a minus lambda a into x is equal to 0 here the scalar lambda is called as the agent value and the its corresponding respective vector x is called as the agent vector so a minus lambda a into x is equal to 0 where x is the agent value and its respective agent vector is x so the scalar lambda is called as the agent value for the given square matrix the important properties of agent values and agent vectors are the agent values of a diagonal or a triangular matrix are its diagonal elements so out of all these five properties the property useful in solving current question is property 1 that is the agent values of a diagonal or triangular matrix are its diagonal elements so by definition diagonal matrix is a matrix in which all the elements are zeros except the diagonal elements by definition a matrix is called as triangular matrix if it is either a upper triangular matrix or a lower triangular matrix second property states that a n by n square matrix is invertible if and only if it doesn't have zero as an agent value that is whatever lambda the square matrix a has none of the agent value that is lambda should be zero third property if a matrix a has its agent value as lambda then the correspond and the corresponding agent vector as x so there is a matrix a whose agent value is lambda then the agent value of the matrix a power k is lambda power k k can take any value in between 1 2 3 to infinity so a power k has the agent value as lambda power k likewise there is a square matrix a whose agent value is lambda then the square matrix a inverse has the agent value as lambda power minus 1 or 1 by lambda last property is agent vectors of a matrix a with distinct agent values are nearly independent distinct means unique or different of all these properties the property useful in solving the current question is property 1 that is the agent values of a diagonal or triangular matrix are its diagonal elements a square matrix is called lower triangular if all the entries above the main diagonal are zero so if you see for, for this 3 by 3 matrix these are the diagonal elements this is called lower triangular because all the elements above the diagonal are zeros similarly if this is the principal diagonal if all the elements below the principal diagonal are zeros then it is called as upper triangular so if all the elements below the principal diagonal and above the principal diagonal are zeros and there are only non zero diagonal elements then it is called as diagonal matrix so if a matrix is either a upper triangular or a lower triangular then it is called as triangular matrix the concept the student should know is he should know about agent values what is being tested in this question application of properties of agent values is being tested in this question the shortcut to solve this question is for an upper or lower triangular matrix diagonal elements are nothing but the agent values without doing any mathematical calculations by just using this simple property 
for an upper triangular or lower triangular matrix the eigen values are its diagonal elements answer can be found out the type type of question is shortcut based question approach just by looking at the triangular matrix one can state eigen values so if we consider the given matrix in this matrix it is given that it is a 4 by 4 matrix in this all the elements just below the principal diagonal are zeros it means that it is an upper triangular matrix that is it comes under category of triangular matrix for triangular matrix the eigen values are nothing but its principal diagonal elements so coming to the solution of this question if you see these are the principal diagonal elements and as all the elements just below the principal diagonal are zeros it is called as an upper triangular matrix so as it, as the given matrix is an triangular matrix the eigen values are nothing but is diagonal elements which are 2 comma 1 comma 3 comma 2 so the he is asking the number of distinct eigen values which is 3 if the same question if we ask the what are the eigen values then the answer is the eigen values are 2 comma 1 comma 3 comma 2 if this in the same question if we ask the number of eigen values then the number of eigen values are 4 and the four values are 2 comma 1 comma 3 comma 2 but in the question he has asked the number of distinct eigen values distinct means different or unique so the number of distinct eigen values is only 3 and they are 2 comma 1 comma 3 why because here 2 is repeated if we ask the number of eigen values then the number of eigen values are 4 2 1 3 and 2 but if we ask the number of distinct eigen values then the answer is 3 because there are only three distinct eigen values 2 1 and 3 the another fourth eigen value which is again 2 which is a repetition and hence it does not come under the category of distinct and hence at that time the answer is 3 only thank you